The deadline is quickly approaching for Nebraska state employees to finalize a new labor contract. Members of the Nebraska Association of Public Employees spoke today about the state's uh, worker shortages and what it hopes to gain in the new contract. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has more in our top story tonight. The Nebraska Association of Public Employees, or NAEP, is the union representing over 8,000 of Nebraska's state employees. The union is currently negotiating with the state of Nebraska for a new two-year labor contract, which would last through June 2025. Executive Director Justin Hubley says so far progress has been slow. He says it's been increasingly challenging to provide programs such as child protective services to Nebraskans because of shortages in staff leading to the temporary closures in departments like the DMV, especially in rural areas. As many of you are aware, there was a blizzard this week that mostly hit northern and western Nebraska. The Department of Transportation had to move staff from central Nebraska to western Nebraska. And if there was to be a snowstorm of any magnitude that covered the entire state, the DOT would not be able to provide those essential services right now. He says the union hopes to negotiate benefits like paid parental leave, access to remote work options, and retirement insurance incentives into the new contract. But the number one priority is increased wages that account for inflation. Each day that we go out, we see the impact. When we fill up our gas tank, when we pay for groceries, every expense it seems to have gotten more expensive over the past year while our wages have remained the same. The union said while it's up to the governor's office to negotiate the contract, lawmakers will be the ones appropriating the funds, so it's important that people contact them to share their thoughts. And I know a lot of people that are going to be reading about this and watching this on TV and listening about this on the radio, they're going to say, well, if they're unhappy, why don't they just quit? Well, friends, that's exactly what's happening. They are leaving this workforce. And what's going to happen is you're going to lose services. In a statement, the Nebraska DOT says difficulties in finding workers aren't unique to its department and are happening across the nation. It says it's competing for CDL drivers and auto mechanics and has implemented new strategies including bonuses to attract talent. A spokesman from the Nebraska Department of Administrative Services, which the state bargaining team is part of, says they are collaborating with NAEP and will continue to support, quote, the great work they do for the people of Nebraska. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News. And the deadline to complete negotiations is by the end of the year on December 31st. After that, there will be a 10-day mediation period before final offers must be made by January 15th.